Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome to Man vs. Film. This is going to be a movie review for Knock Knock. Man vs. Film. I was really excited to see another E.I. Roth movie in the big screen. This one, Knock Knock, stars Keanu Reeves, and I was like, wow. Got a star name, this should be good. The trailer kind of led me into some intrigue into it, you know, and it definitely had my attention. So when it arrived on the big screen, I was the first there to see it. And man, what a complete disappointment this movie is. Knock Knock is the story of a family man who is working on a project at home, an architectural project, when his family decide to go away for the weekend and leave him to it. His uh, wife and his two kids pack up the car and head out of Dodge. One night while he's working on his project, these two girls turn up at the door, um, they've got the wrong address. Eventually, after a little while, he lets them in to dry off out the rain while he phones a taxi for them. The girls are kind of flirtatious and edging the conversation uh, ever further and eventually the corner Keanu Reeves and kind of queers him into having sex with him. The next day things take a turn for the worse, the girls kind of reverse into like younger girls, um, they're carrying on, they're causing mayhem, he, they kind of threaten him a little bit and he manages to get them out of the house. But the girls return with a vengeance and a torturous plan to make his life a living hell. It's another one of the home invasion movies that we've seen all too often, you know, like The Strangers, them, funny games, those kind of movies. And it's one of the lesser enjoyable movies like that type. I had some fun with it. There's a, a black humour streak that runs throughout it that's quite well done. The first 20 30 minutes when the girls are in the house and Keanu's jumping from seat to seat as they're kind of closing in on him, trying to bring his conversation around to a more sexual aspect. And he's trying to evade them within his own house while still being a courteous host. It's a really well shot really well acted piece of filmmaking. It's, re it's probably the best in the movie because after that it's all downhill. And I ultimately found that the movie left a bad taste in your mouth at the end of it. The best thing about this movie is Keanu Reeves who actually, you know, is head and shoulders above the other two girls in the movie. Their machinations from it aren't quite clear. They say some things but you're never quite sure where they're lying if they're telling the truth, you're never quite sure exactly if they're telling the truth or not. Which can lead to a sort of duplicity to, the, to their characters. You don't know if they're just mean for the sake of being mean, if they're torturous because they want to or because they're psychologically driven that way. They came across as just masochistic people that just wanted to ruin a life because they can. And that's ultimately what left the bad taste in my mouth. Without spoiling the end of it, I was really unhappy with it. There's there's no overt closure to it. The family aspect of Keanu's life is completely ruined forever. The girls can go about doing whatever they want to do. If they want to move on and do the same game with another family or whatever, they can do that. There's no repercussions to this. It's just a set act that makes no sense, that seems spiteful for the sake of being spiteful. The direction is fairly steady and good, but it's down to Eli Ross own hands how the story doesn't quite connect in the way and it's halfway through the movie where you start to lose touch with the characters and you start to fade away and the movie starts to lose your attention. It becomes almost gut-wrenching at one point where you're watching it. You don't want to watch it, not because of anything's happening on screen, just because you're losing interest in these horrible people that are up there. They're not nice people. You don't want to spend any more time with them. Why would you? Not not for me was an extreme disappointment. I loved Eli Ross. Uh, Cabin Fever, Hostel 1 and 2. I'm looking forward to The Green Inferno. Will I still go and see that? Yes. Knock knock. I will never watch again in the rest of my life. It was really that bad a movie. I'm going to give Knock Knock one and a half stars out of five. It's a complete avoid. Um, unless you're a diehard Eli Roth fan or a diehard Keanu Reeves fan, there is nothing in this that you're really going to enjoy. And I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.